It's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team has been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new West Heavyweight Champion. Inside the octagon. Good. All right, it is the UFC's unofficial home base, T Mobile Arena, here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and 18,000 plus are expected on hand tonight for what should be an epic UFC lot. It is going to be a phenomenal fight night in a fantastic arena. T Mobile Arena, the home of the UFC. Sidekick is true. Nice check on the leg kick off right there. Strong hook lands. That punch, no good. Takedown defense holds up. Fast pace here in the early going. Shot there, and again back to that punch. Oh, big elbow. Lands a nasty body kick. Good shot, good shot. Three minutes now to go in this one. Nice punch here. Beautiful kick to the body. There's the kick, it's blocked. Beautiful jab there by the champ. He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. He needs to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. So no 
another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch by how they kick it, the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Oh, those are big strikes. Oh, nice left hand there. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, nice jab counter for him there. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not be that damaging, but down the line, you're going to really pay for it if you don't address it right now. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. He gets to the clinch position. He'll get close for that takedown. Inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. And he is back up to his feet. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Seconds now to go in the opening round. Misses again with a right punch. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, right hook attempt. No good. So a huge five minutes turned in by him there. Good work with those leg kicks, man. Real good job with the leg kicks. Just really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. He did a great job of finding an opening and taking full advantage of it. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. All right, next round is underway. He really did a nice job defensively in the previous round. You're not always winning with defense in MMA, but the crowd was ooing and eyeing as he moved that head off the side. I mean, it was defensive brilliant. Really. Yeah. I mean, just the ability to move, to roll his shoulders, to get his hands up and block his head as his opponent was trying to attack him was a sight to behold. It was a thing of beauty to watch a guy with such a vast understanding of defensive fighting. Just out of range with that strike. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy it's tonight. a master class, John. It's a master class. It's mixing up the targets, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. Calf kick lands, and it is starting to bruise now. Dude better check these kicks. He's not going to be able to fight too long if he doesn't. right hook attempt, but it's no good. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Eats a jab there. Oh, nice takedown defense. And now some separation. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the flight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, he in there, watching Max Holloway do what he did, was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. See, and there it is again. You see some of the bruising just touching that thigh. Doesn't need to be full throttle. Not right now, but later. As his opponent's more compromised, as he has a lesser ability to defend and check, he will then start to really dig and turn that leg kick over. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. Oh, wow, how about the roundhouse kick? Yet 
another huge kick lands. but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Right, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Big right hand. Checks that leg kick. Yeah. Just missed with the left there. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. That was a solid punch. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's going to have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Final seconds here of round two. Superman punch lands! Good round. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is... Oh! Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice technique on the sidekick. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence has grown from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing. Oh, he's still hurt. Look at that. He can't even stand. Ooh, big shot, man. MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now. But there's a still no standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. 
Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other wrist. Yes, yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Way to hide that leg kick. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. That right eye's looking pretty swollen. Oh, there it is again. Look at that. Back to the feet now. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Checks the leg kick. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Oh, a huge block there. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, sit. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. All right, working inside the close. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Yep, that guillotine's deep. This guy is so aware, he never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get some. And there it is again, targeting that swelling. Rock takes his back. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's gotta feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on the When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely low. Yeah, the crowd loves. Oh, that is going to do it! But the celebration is on one of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance.